There is a moment, sitting still between the rippling stream, under a rainbow or amongst the flowers in your garden. This moment where you can feel the grand interconnection between all things. The butterflies feed on the sweet nectar, pollinating the flowers of the fruit trees that feed you. The mist returns with the rain and brings families of black cockatoos that play in the treetops. We care for the goats and they care for us. The dragonfly's wings flutter as your own hands do. They weave meaning into everything that they touch. Each flower, cloud or fruit, each tree, rainbow or butterfly, it is all connected. Water dripping through our fingers, goats running at our ankles, we realize that we are part of this connection too. I'm going to try to finish this painting as quickly as I can. Sometimes I think these kind of challenges are really good for me. They force me to be free and fluid in my work and I think that's when I work best. So I'm just going to start with the underpainting. I'm mixing up its colour right now and then I'll get into it. It's kind of scary, kind of exciting. It's a really big painting. It's almost 2 metres by 1.2. So we'll see how I go. Growing up in the rainforest has taught us a way of life where we see art in every moment of the day. I think that it's so important to include art in everyday life, otherwise you can get caught in routine. But if you see the beauty, life is endlessly fascinating. Take a step back, find beauty in the ordinary, and see the absolute art of living. This beauty inspires us to create, to document these passing moments, to connect to this world. There is art in all aspects of life.
Maggie needs milking each morning really early, so we wake up early and we give her so many cuddles and it's actually a really nice time just to connect with her. You love it because you get all the attention. Moth gets jealous and stands on the other side of the fence and bears out to us because she's jealous that Maggie's getting attention. Waking up early can feel like a chore, but the reality is that we would otherwise miss this incredible sunrise. There is so much beauty in the world, and to take a moment to pause and appreciate it all makes us realise that it is all connected and it is all art. To document these fleeting moments, the feelings or memories, it feels like magic. Cheeky little goats keep sneaking in. They just fit through the little posts in the gate. And I don't know what to do about Harmony! They keep eating all the plants. What do we do about this? She's just licking her lips. Stop, bird, you can't fit. You're not as small as you used to be. I wanna be free, so free. Like a feather blowing through the breeze. Like a bird in a tree, like a dolphin in the sea. I want to fly high, so high, like an eagle in the sky. And when my time has come, I'll let it all go at the side. Watch my mind coming home to the place. was just uncomparable. All of those colours just in the sky, so close. They look like they're in reach. I've finished half the painting already, which is pretty wild. I can't believe it's going so fast and it's, it's really coming easily. It's, it's beautiful when it happens like this. This kind of flow just feels really magical. 
And so I'm going to try to stick with it and finish it all today. It's getting late and I'm really tired, but I reckon if I get it done, that'll just feel so amazing. so amazing there's black cockatoos everywhere there's such beautiful birds there's a saying that for however many black cockatoos you see it equals the amount of rain to come so i've seen so many this morning so we've probably got weeks of rain coming <laughs> Every morning and night they seem to come here and just hang out. There's this one tree that has a sort of hole in it that there's water in, so they go and drink from there. Um... 
The music in this video is by Beautiful Chorus, an incredible chorus of women creating such healing music. You can find their links in our description. Thank you so much for watching. We are so grateful to the support from our patrons.